right? In this video, I'm going to using the cumulative distribution uh, table, right? This is a cumulative for discrete random variable, right? Uh, in I uh, in finding the median, right? Uh, finding the median. So very simple. So you want to find the median, right? Uh, you look at this is a cumulative, right? Uh, first. You must make sure that this is a cumulative distribution table. So if you look at this, uh, which is the first value that more than 0 0.5, right? Uh, this is less than 0 0.5, but after this, this is the value that start to more than 0 0.5, right? Uh, so you know that median will be having the probability of 0 0.5, half. Means that the probability will be 1. Median means half of the probability, which will be uh, 0 0.5. So from here, you can see that this is the first value that uh, more than uh, 0 0.5. So the median in this case here, the median, or you can just write uh, the FM, right, to be uh, 0 0.5, right? Uh, 0 0.5. So what is the M here, the median here? The median here is actually the value random variable 4, right? Uh, the median will be m equals to 4 or we say that median is x equals to 4 right very simple as, as long as you see that the cumulative probability is start to over uh, more than 0 0.5 or 0 0.5 we're taking that random variable at that particular moment as a median all right and okay of course continue by this question is how to finding the probability distribution function uh, for this from this cumulative distribution table here so very simple so if you want to find the cumulative uh, the probability distribution table right uh, the probability distribution table so i'm going to withdraw everything here uh, you have uh, x definitely this now will be px equals to x uh, this is probability distribution table and this is cumulative the difference here you can see that adding up up to one right uh, so but the number of random variable will still be the same 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, right? Uh, so, definitely, you are getting 0 0.05, right? 0 0.05. So, if you want to find the probability, right? Uh, if you want to find the probability of x equals to 2, right? Very simple. You can take in 0 0.15 minus away 0 0.05, right? Uh, as you know that this will be... In the previous video, I have discussed... Uh, how to using the cumulative distribution table to finding the probability of a num a, a random variable, right? Either in an interval or point. You must you must really watch that video first, view that video before you're watching what is here. Okay? So this is actually F2 minus F1, right? Uh, why is this? View the video, right? Uh, so F2 minus F1, so which will be you're taking 0 0.15 minus 0 0.05, which will be giving you 0 0.1, right? Means that the probability of x equal to 2 will be 0, 1, 1. So how if you want to find the probability of x equals to 3, right? 3. So you were taking 0 0.3 minus the one before. Uh, this is a cumulative, right? 0 0.3 minus with 0 0.15. So you were get, uh, getting 0 0.15, right? Because you're taking 0 0.3 minus the one before, 0 0.15. And same thing here, you want to find the probability for x equals to 4, you're taking 0 0.7, right? Minus the one that before. So 0 0.7 minus 0 0.3 will be 0 0.4. Alright, now if you want to find Px equals to 5. Uh, Px equals to 5. So you take 0 0.85 minus the one before. So this is this is how you're doing the data uh, during you learn about data description. Alright. Uh, you, you know that how to find the cumulative frequency, right? Uh, it's just like the cumulative frequency. So if you want to find back the frequency, you take the cumulative frequency at the particular moment minus the one before, right? So for 5, you are taking 0 0.85 minus 0 0.7. So which is 0 0.15. Followed by, if you want to find the probability of x equals 6, you take this minus this, you will get 0 0.1. And lastly, uh, 7 and 6, you want to find probability of x equals to 7, you are getting 1 minus with 0 0.95, you are getting 0 0.05, as easy as that, right? Uh, so I have already constructed the probability distribution table. So, so okay, let's look at these two, right? Uh, as we're using the cumulative, uh, the cumulative to find the uh, 
median, right? Uh, the median for this case, uh, the median, you can be see, you can state that x equals to seven, right? You can do, you can just do it this way. And sorry, x equals to four, right? Because this is the probability that start to this is less than zero point five, right? And this is the probability that start to more than zero point uh, five, which is zero point seven. So means the the median must be x equals to four, right? Uh, so, or you can just write this way, okay, fm equals to 0 0.5 uh, and the m, the median will be 4. It's actually bringing the same meaning and the m represents the median. So, and for the probability distribution table, probability distribution table, if you observe that, it's different from the cumulative, right? We end with 1, right? But this one, if you add up everything, 0 0.05 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.15 adding up everything, total up everything must be 1 okay, uh, this is probability probability distribution table so from the probability distribution table you can find the mode uh, so median, we're using cumulative for mode, we're using uh, the probability distribution table which one has the highest probability 0 0.4 right, 0 0.4 is the highest probability so, what is the random variable correspond to this? It's 4, right? So, it means that the mode is also x equals to 4. So, you have to understand that this is the way we're using the uh, cumulative distribution table and the probability distribution table in identifying these two measures of central tendency. Alright? Uh, so, we will learn about how to find mean in the next lesson. Alright? Okay, that's all for this video.